you aren't the only child that allegedly this doctor fathered. Have you met any other siblings? I have. I, um, I've met all but one so far. When my story broke in May, so it's just been May of this year, I'm kind of waiting for people to take these um, tests. But yes, I have, and it's, um, it's incredibly difficult because when that match first pops up, I have to be the one to tell them everything I know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, initially when I came forward, I felt very strongly about it because I felt like I had a duty to inform. My worst fear was to have a, a half sibling who had a child like mine and I had this medical information. Right. And, and I have to be the one to tell them about their, their mom who was, you know, assaulted in this and that they are the product of that. And it's very traumatic as, as you know, I just, there was a new one that just popped up two months ago. And each person internalizes this, you know, very differently. And, um, you know, my two half-brothers are head in the sand. This is too much. They can't handle it. And then the half-sister right now, she's, um, she's struggling with this. It's a very toxic secret. She lives in the community. She's working in the same hospital. So it's incredibly difficult with each one that does pop up. Well, and Eve, you know, your experience right now, you are literally cleaning up your biological father's messes. You know, Absolutely. you have taken on that responsibility because he's not taking it on. And there's no support groups for this type of scenario. Yeah. Even though it's more common than we think, there's no real forum to talk about all of the emotional and psychological stresses that you've experienced as a result of realizing that this is your true reality and this is where you came from. I mean, it really messes, I think, with some people and their identity, their ideas of who they are. It is. Genetic matter matters. Yeah. And I think that that is what we are seeing, whether you're donor conceived, doctor conceived, adopted, you have a not parent expected result. People want to know where they've come from. That's why these commercial DNA testing sites are so incredibly popular now. We've We've talked a lot this season about transparency in medicine. I'm curious, would it mean anything to you if your biological father at least came forward and acknowledged and said, look, Eve, you're right, and I was wrong, and there was a, you know, a formal apology. Would that help you in any way, shape, or form, just in terms of trying to wrap your head around this, and including your siblings? Because without talking to you, I think it would be very easy for people in a community to look at every child of this, and I'm calling you a child even though you're an adult now, but at the time you yeah, were- Yeah, I like it, you it, call me a child. But, but it's, it, I think it would be yeah. easy to reflexively say they were all born and they should be happy to be alive. Mm -hmm. But after talking to you, I don't think anyone could hear your story and not feel some of the pain and anguish. W would there be any benefit to you just in terms of hearing that from your biological father? Absolutely, I mean, I think that the truth sets you free, right? And um, there's been so much deception around my conception story that I, I wanna know the truth. And I think that from a processing standpoint, from you know, just to continue to be mentally healthy, I wanna know what happened. We are seeing that these commercial DNA testing websites are blowing the lid off of family secrets. And I mean, you heard Adam, weekly he's getting these calls. So, um, so yeah. And, and you're spearheading, trying to make a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. Regulation is something we talked earlier about being relatively non-existent in this space, and that's something you're trying to change. Mm -hmm. I am. 